Welcome back to the channel, Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and today we're taking a look at the Christmas Battle Force for the Daughters of Cain, Cainite Slaughter Coven for Age of Sigmar. If you're into these daily reactions, reviews, and news, painting, modeling, conversion tutorials, make sure to like and subscribe for Warhammer 40,000, Kill Team Necromunda, Age of Sigmar, Warcry, and Horus Heresy as well. So here we have the Knight Slaughter Coven. Uh, so we went through and did the breakdown already for all the Warhammer 40k boxes and all of the Age of Sigmar boxes for price. Uh, in this video, we're going to be focusing on the actual viability of an army uh, as well as how would you expand it? Would you want to do the Vanguard? Would you want to buy some individual units? How do we get it up to 2,000 points? And overall, is this a viable army list, etc.? So let's take a look at the Knight Slaughter Coven for the Daughters of Cain. So starting first off, we have the centerpiece, the shrine slash cauldron. So it's important to note with this piece that it has a ton of options. So the kit itself actually builds the blood rack shrine, the hag cauldron, or the slaughter cauldron. So you have three different options to build. And then whichever option you choose, the leftover stuff that you don't use on that option also creates other units. So for instance, on the lower end at 530 you could take the hag cauldron if you do you end up with a separate model for a medusa and then also a separate slaughter queen and then if you take the mid-range one the slaughter cauldron you end up with a extra medusa and then an extra hag queen and then finally if you take the blood rack shrine you end up with an extra avatar an extra hag and an extra slaughter queen so either way you build it you're going to end up with a bunch of units you'll have three total units per and then it's going to total up to 530 to 595 points. There's some various reasons to take one way or the other. Uh, but overall, tons of diversity in this unit. Uh, super cool. Definitely a nice little linchpin for your army. Next, we have our Witch Elves. Uh, so the Witch Elves can also be built as the Sisters of Slaughter. If you build them as the Witch Elves, it's 115 points. If you go with the Sisters of Slaughter, it's 135 points. Uh, they are a battle line unit. Uh, so that is crucial as well. And uh, they're excellent so you're gonna want more of these for sure uh, next we have the blood sisters or blood stalkers so the blood sisters or blood stalkers are gonna run 140 to 180 points depending which option you take again multi kit you can build either one uh, and it's just the difference of do you want them more for combat or do you want them for shooting with the bows and then next we have our doomfire warlocks so doomfire warlocks are decent units they're kind of a jack-of-all-trade uh, they're quick they're good for utility. They're definitely good in smaller games. As you get into larger games, though, uh, you may find that they just don't do anything particularly great. And that being said, uh, one unit of them is not bad, especially in a smaller game. But I'm not sure that you're going to want, you know, a bunch of these. Uh, but at 145 points, uh, not bad for a little jack of all trades, a little Swiss Army knife. So for the Canary, you can build once again multi-part kit, either the Heart Renders or the Life Takers. Uh, depending what you're looking for again you have uh, the difference between the range with the uh, like throwing spear javelins or uh, close combat uh, they're not bad they're quick obviously nice to have a flying unit as well 90 to 95 points so they are pretty cheap obviously depending which uh, option you go with and if we just total all of this up and we just take a absolute minimum we could go for and the absolute maximum we could go for we have a total of 1020 points to 1150 points so right out of the box, you basically have what you need to play a thousand point game with some slight caveats. So you have a thousand points worth of units, but you don't technically have a legal army with this. So the issue you're going to run into is that you only have one battle line. So you're going to need either more witches or more of the sisters of slaughter. One way or the other, you need at least two for a thousand point game. And unfortunately, this box only includes one. So would you buy multiples of this box? Uh, for me, it's a no. You could technically buy multiples of this box. And it's just not ideal in my opinion. Uh, so what about the Vanguard? So here's the Vanguard. 130 bucks for this. It's going to include one squad of witches, one squad of warlocks, one squad of the blood sisters or stalkers, and then also the uh, Medusa as well. It's not a bad set. I think it's a decent way to expand your army uh, if that's what you wanted to go for. I'm not sure it's ideal to tell you the truth, um, but 130 bucks for this and it has a bunch of good units in here. Uh, it does have some decent savings. You could definitely go this route if you wanted to and uh, I don't think you would regret it. 
And if you were to go that route and you wanted to go ahead and combine those together, uh, you would basically end up with another roughly like 600 points there to expand your army out. Um, I would go a different route with it though. Um, I would probably just skip the Vanguard box. I would not get a multiple. Uh, if I was starting a fresh Daughters of Cain army, I would buy this box set and then I would just add on to it the units that I want. So I would buy this box set. I would buy two units of witches, another 20 witches. So now you have three battle lines. Uh, I would buy Marathi, the Shadow Queen as well. Uh, she's super pricey, but you get both models, obviously, the Marathi and the Shadow Queen. And it's pretty much like an auto-include in your army. Uh, she has 680 points, so it's about a third of your army. Uh, and then after that, I would probably go with the uh, High Gladiatrix. Uh, so the High Gladiatrix is really good as well. And that's going to give you roughly 2,000 points right there. So if you went this route and you picked up the High Gladiatrix, Marathi, the Shadow Queen, and then 20 more Witches, uh, you would have a pretty nice army right around 2,000 points. And I think that's going to get you a lot closer to where you want to be uh, without ending up with a bunch of extra units that you're not going to use. Uh, my main issue with buying two of these or buying this and the Vanguard is you still would only end up with two squads of Witches. And then you end up with a bunch of redundant units. Like you're probably not going to take two squads of the Warlocks maybe not going to take two squads of the Canari, uh, etc. So uh, definitely worth keeping in mind. I would probably go ahead, pick this up, and then just add in what I wanted. Uh, so that's a breakdown for this one. Now, if you are a Daughters of Cain player, if you know a little bit more about Sigmar or have any recommendations or corrections or anything, feel free to leave those in the comments. That really helps out other people that are looking for information. Uh, obviously, if you're a dedicated player, especially in Sigmar, you're going to know a lot more about the specifics than I do. It's also worth keeping in mind that I'm just talking about the actual composition of the army based on like the regular rules. There's like specific special cult rules and stuff like that uh, that can alter what is battle line or how you compose your army that may open up your ability uh, to basically build like a different style. Uh, for instance, you could buy a bunch of the uh, Blood Sisters and Blood Stalkers and actually have an army where those are like your primary forces. Uh, so that being said, let me know down below what you think of the video. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to check out the other ones as well. Uh, there's going to be one coming for all of the Sigmar sets. We already have one for all the 40K sets. And then we have a price breakdown for 40K and Sigmar as well. I've uh, just shown you exactly how much the savings are and everything. So uh, if you do enjoy the channel, if you enjoy these type of videos, reactions, reviews, and news, painting, modeling, conversion, tutorials, we do put out daily videos for Warhammer 40,000, Kill Team, Necromunda, Age of Sigmar, Warcry, and of course some Horus Heresy as well. But that's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and I'm out of here.